Gary and Brandon and get warmed up here. <coughs> okay. Where's the shot of Jack? Hey, I'm Gary. I'm Brandon. And this is the 420 Science Club. Uh, Warm-up edition. Just hanging out right now. Morning show edition. Hopefully we'll have something interesting to say in a matter of seconds. What, what things are going on? What have you watched lately? What have you built lately? I, I made a project to start some stuff. Like, I've been pinning some stuff I'm interested in and trying to get, like, some ideas. I have a galley kitchen, like a really mm -hmm. narrow kitchen. And so I'm trying to do some improvements to give myself more countertop space. My countertops have like appliances and shit on them sure and I want to be able to like do food prep there and stuff and do maybe an Ikea trip Andrew is actually telling me that like a skit or something he saw where they make fun of people that go to Ikea because that's like a test of your relationship if you can like get through the entire Ikea <laughs> without like getting in an argument uh, yeah usually when we go I'm very single minded <laughs> like we know that. what we're getting like stop looking around we don't need any of this stuff we're, we're coming here for what we're coming here for so this is the fifth round, and uh, I don't know. We have 13, 1,400 fans now. Thank you, those who have subscribed early and gotten in on the ground floor <laughs> on this. You guys are awesome. This incredible enterprise. <laughs> this random discussions and product reviews and cannabis enthusiasm. Oh, let's let's talk about weed. Shenanigans. I mean, so, so I know we don't like talk about timely things usually, but Marijuana has just been legalized oh, yeah. in Oregon <clears throat> and in Alaska and in Washington, D.C. District of Columbia. Now, we know the D.C. thing may or may not happen because Congress, I guess, has its uh, ultimate approval, but it still makes for great headlines. And, yeah. Um, Those yeah, dominoes are a fallen. Though. They are. We uh, see... Florida did not pass their medical... Um, Hell no. That's... Total bullshit supermajority thing. 58% yeah. of people voted for it. More people came out and voted for that than voted for their governors. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, the, the people want it. Also, California defelonized drug use, um, and so they will be releasing a lot of people from prison for nonviolent drug offenses, which is. No, it's a lot also, of people uh, that probably had respectable jobs and yeah, families they, that they needed to. Do things for people got shit to take care of, Shh. and they can't be doing it when they're in jail for some sure. cannabis. Or, or they just don't like. Uh, I mean, think ultimately, drug use is a, a social problem, or a and uh, I mean things like addiction are, are a social health problem and not a criminal problem. Most of the time, they require treatment, not punishment. Yes, nobody's getting better in prison, so um, those getting are... better at getting guns, maybe. <laughs> That you work out a lot in there. Uh, you work out, you can uh, become a better criminal, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, we haven't been, so I can't really say shit know. about it. You know, I've read I'd a lot. probably I've, shit my pants and I've read cry in a corner. I've read several Reddit AMAs with former prisoners, which are always really interesting. They yeah, uh, but... talk a lot. Of, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of misconceptions that you know that we have from TV and movies, probably, of what prison is like and mm -hmm. but things are bad in California they have really uh, bad overcrowding problems and so this is a step in the right direction it's it's the California voters saying that the drug war has failed and um, no we're seeing some really yeah. significant state progress out there and like I said I feel like that overall nationalism feeling about cannabis and the positivity for what it can do medically, like we're seeing a lot of people. Yeah, people admit can't to that deny. And... You can't deny the medical benefits. Like you, you just can't. Um, and well, you, you can. You have well, the freedom you, to. <laughs> but then science is really unhappy with you afterwards. But science is like, whoa! You... I've got facts and a lot of evidence and some research here yeah this is a free country you can say what you want but i will i guess just uh discontinue the conversation i don't know those are that Any, is good news though i'm yeah, happy about that yeah those are good things um, so um well we uh do, do you think i mean we got we did it for 
California. We did it for Washington. I think we're so twenty sixteen. I think we're gonna do a shout out for. I'm talking about well, is Alaska gonna get a jar? For our, oh, well, our, Alaska. Our two hundred. Our two hundred customers in Alaska. Talking to you. We see some love from Alaska. A we lot. have some good customers. In yeah, Alaska. we have some really um, dedicated people up there in the snow. I think it's a special person that lives in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Loves them. A few special shops, though, that like are the sole yeah. providers to their community. For sure. Well, they do really well with our stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to shout out to those shops. We can name them all. Can you name them all? Oh, I couldn't name all of them, especially not on the not under on the pressure. Fly. Okay. Not well. under pressure. But we don't know whether they want their name spoken or not. I don't know. So. But Alaska. We'll do an Alaska jar, an Oregon jar. Whoa! I don't know why not. Here it comes. Coming, coming at you. Spring what do you want your jar to look like, Alaska and Oregon? They probably want their state on it. Really? Because that's what everybody else does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oregon's kind of a boring state shape. No Wait, you mean it doesn't Oregon. look like something? It's, it's like a rectangle. 2016. Nevada. Arizona. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Maybe some places on the East Coast. Maybe some Florida. of those. Maybe some of those states that Florida. you forget are around. They'll like Look. remind everybody by legalizing. They'll Vermont. Be like, right. New they'll Hampshire. be like, hey, everybody, New Hampshire. Right. Be like, remember New Hampshire? And people would be like, no. And they'll be like, well, we've got weed now. <laughs> That's what they need to do. Like I know all these states are going to start competing over who has the best weed, just like who has the best wine. Right. Who, who does have the best wine? California? I mean, Cal California, I think, arguably, but they try to grow at other places. Yeah. Yeah, see, I mean, that's all these... There's a lot of... I, I think that, yeah, if you look at states, like, in their production, like, and the strains that come out of them, and you look at stuff like wine, too, you, you have those things that they're proud of, just, like, Vermont cheese and stuff like that. Like, there's no reason why... Cannabis can't be one more thing that they're really proud of the people well, I, that they employ and the product that they. I think come that's out already with. happening. Like if you look at Northern California, I mean, there's a whole culture of like, right. pot growing there that's very, right. very <clears throat> enthusiastic about the quality. Of yeah, certainly. Their yeah, products. to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's like back when you would hear about BC Bud so much. Like now, like that. Colorado name is in California is starting to mean a lot. It's good. Go America. Go America. Okay, well, I'm warmed up. I'm ready. Yeah, let's well, talk about some, some other stuff. Let's talk about bongs. So Water pipe? Can you say water pipe? Water pipe? I don't know if any. <laughs> I mean... You ever, go to, you ever go to a shop or something? <laughs> I mean, you like point out at a shop... Like, Right, I'm just saying it's funny whenever that happens, like there's some dude that shows up out of nowhere, and he's always looks a little more responsible and serious than every other employee there. Like, the guy that's like handing you, like, the thing is like, has dreadlocks and like, smells like Nang Chaba, and suddenly there's this dude, and like, and, like, leans in, he's like, can you see water pipe? <laughs> can you, I noticed. It's the, it's the manager. Yeah. Um. Okay, anyhow. I'm Gary. I'm Brandon. This has been the 420 Science Club. Thanks for watching. Peace.